Hello everyone, it's Tuesday and I'm Chad Elledge. And I'm Ben Barker. We are here from the Golf Leadership Academy. We are here with Mike Sullivan and Kyle Bogey. And today we're gonna help you learn what you can do to stop missing uh, putts inside of five feet, which is gonna help you beat your buddies and get more of their money this summer. So having said that, nobody likes missing short putts, right? Right. What are we gonna do to help our friends around Metro Detroit make more putts inside of five feet? First thing we're going to do is we're going to get you two calibrated. And then after you're calibrated, we're going to have a little competition to see who can make the most three footers down the reel. Are you guys ready for that? Awesome. Who's, who's the better putter between you? Who do you think? <laughs> right there. Yeah. He's just trying to jinx it already. I, I feel like this video is actually tailor made for me. Like, yeah. this is what I need to be working on every single day. <laughs> uh, very good. So, no matter your uh, skill level out there, whether you're trying to break 100 or 80 or 70, what have you, just making more putts inside of five feet is where it's at. Yeah. So calibrating is the name of the game? Calibrating is the name of the game. Hopefully they can be like Bryson DeChambeau. I saw a fascinating stat the yeah. other day. He's 91% inside of 10 feet. Wow, that is amazing. Wow. 10 feet. One tool that you'll need or that you can do at home because you're going to join along in the contest. You're going to try to get, beat uh, Kyle and Bogey here is this four foot ruler. You can get you one from Home Depot. Uh, it's about 10 bucks. So this is something you can do at home. So having said that, Ben, walk us through the calibration process, buddy. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't both of you set up to your ruler here real quick. And we want to make sure that the blade of the putter is squared to the ruler. So that's the first order of business. And now what we're going to do here is you guys are actually going to make errors intentionally. So from the square setup position, what we want you guys to do is try to roll the ball off the ruler to the right. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to try to roll the ball off the ruler to the left. And then you're going to try to roll to down the ruler. Before you guys get started, though, if you're trying to roll the ball off the ruler to the right or to the left and it goes down the ruler, what might that be telling you guys? Something about alignment, I would assume, in terms of contact. What do you think? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we would say that if you're trying to pull a ball left off the left side of the ruler and it goes down the ruler, it's telling you maybe what you should feel right. to launch the ball straight. Does that make sense? Sure. sure. All right, guys, you ready? We're we going left first or right first? Which way? Right, correct. Right, let's go right. Okay, now let's go left. Oh, bogey. <laughs> this could be part of your problem, my friend. <laughs> okay, now we want you guys to try to roll the next two balls down the ruler. Nice. Getting closer, oh, Sully. Getting closer. Me. Okay. So at home, what we want you to do is we want you to try to miss one right on purpose, miss one left on purpose, and then hit two straight. So how many sets would that that'd be one set that they just did? That is one set. How many set would you recommend? I would recommend running through that three or four times until you get comfortable, uh, until you start to see a trend of what's happening. So an example would be if you notice Sully keeps missing the ball off the ruler to the right. So I'm guessing as he continued to try to pull that ball a little bit to the left, he would start to actually roll the ball down the ruler. Same thing with you. You know, so you guys have to learn what your tendencies are as you're doing this. And then what's going to happen is as you're making errors intentionally, you're going to actually uncover what works for you. Mm. That's the name of the game is finding out what you have to do to get the ball to move down the ruler. So that's what uh, calibrating your start direction. So you don't miss any more putts inside of five feet. So let's say that you guys did this a couple more sets and you're, you're well cal calibrated. Let's find, uh, find out who can make the most in the row. Let's do it. Absolutely. Cool. Are you guys going to gamble? Like, is there something on the line here? Let's do... Uh, you can't play for nothing. $10,000. No. <laughs> a bottle of milk. Yeah. <laughs> a bottle of bourbon. That's what I thought I heard. <laughs> oh, he's got one. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> try, to, try to hit this one left and see what happens. Ooh. One in a row. <laughs> Good. Okay. Gentlemen, you got some calibrating to do. Get your ruler. Really? You got some calibrating <laughs> to do. So it's a lot, e you know, it sounds easy. You know, I can make my short ones until you actually start, to, uh, you know, actually executing the task and seeing what happens. So to get better at your putting this winter, get your ruler, calibrate, and then have a contest 
And we would love to see uh, your personal record. So put your number below. We'll follow along and uh, we're going to see if we can get you guys up over uh, one in a row. And I think yes. that we can. <laughs> so we thank you for joining us on the Tuesday tip. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Get in the